sometimes feel like as a minister, as someone who's, who's on an altar a lot of the time, playing an instrument so that people can connect to God, sometimes, and, it's, and it's, a, it's a human way of thinking, it's not wrong or anything, but there's that, there's that thought that sometimes comes through someone's mind and says, like, I feel inadequate. This week, I don't feel like being up there. I don't feel like, like uh, ministering to the people or, 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 or trying to connect the people to God. Um, I, don't, I don't feel right, you know, at a certain time in, 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 in your life. And that's, that's normal. And, and, and when I think of that, I think of back like when Moses, uh, when God was talking to him through the burning bush and, and God was giving him all his promises. And to, to Moses, it was, it was something huge. I would imagine there was something like big, like, wow, like, who am I? How can I do that? I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not worthy. I'm not who you think I am, God. I'm just, you know, I'm just Moses, I'm just normal. And yet God's word, for him was, was a strong, he goes, I am that I am, tell them that I sent you. You know, and, and you can relate that to, to the fact that when you're on an altar, or you're, guiding some, you know, you're guiding someone, or you're guiding people, uh, someone where God wants to take them. Um, don't forget that it's not, it's not us. In our case, we do this as a band, we do this in the form of the music. We want to minister to people en lo que es la vida eterna, queremos que la gente no solamente eh, viva, sino que tenga vida en abundancia, tenga sanidad, que cuando estén escuchando la música, cuando estén siendo ministrados por, por lo que tocamos, que Dios sea el que esté moviéndose entre nosotros, que seamos nosotros solamente los instrumentos y que Él sea moviéndose. Eh, hay que tener un corazón siempre sincero, un corazón de, de adorador. Because you know, we're imperfect because we make mistakes. I feel like that's a big, a big reason why God chooses to use us, you know, because the word says, you know, in Spanish, it says that, que lo vi, lo menospreciado Dios usa para avergonzar los sabios de este mundo. What that's speaking about is it's basically saying, you know, God uses someone that maybe people see as disqualified, maybe people see as inadequate, to show the people, you know what, I can do anything with anyone. I can, I can use anyone at any given time, you know, and, a lot of times we disqualify ourselves because maybe we tell God, God, you know, I can't do that, I can't be on stage, I can't preach, I can't sing, I can't play an instrument, I can't bless someone else, who am I, what am I going to do? And that's exactly what God, that, that's exactly why God chooses to, to glorify Himself in you. Because for you and for other people, maybe they think that you're not qualified, but then we see God's glory in your life. And you start blessing other people, you know, with whatever it is that God has imparted in you, you know. So, we have to remember that as ministers, as or, or whatever you do in your church you know that it's not because your talents it's not because of how good you are it's not because you're qualified you know it's because God has chosen you because of his grace and because of his mercy and his favor upon your life it's as simple as that sometimes we ask God like why me and that's when really uh, we understand that we, we are called to do this uh, we are here for a reason and that's to to be able to take people to the presence of God uh, and something very key that, that we do, that we must do as uh, ministers is uh, seek God, you know, in your secret place because ¿Qué le puedes dar a otra persona que no tienes? Like, what can you offer to someone that you don't have? So I think that's something very key when it comes down to ministering and stuff like that and for me that, that's pretty much what ministering is, it, it's a gift, it, it's, it's a privilege, you're giving back to God for everything that he has given you. Hay un versículo en la Biblia, en el libro de Samuel, que habla cuando Saúl estaba siendo atormentado y él le dijo a uno de sus siervos que, que trajera a una persona que supiera tocar para que eh, lo ministrara, para que el, el Espíritu lo dejara de, de atormentar. Eh, eh, Dios nos llama a ministrar a otras personas. Y tenemos que siempre eh, tener un corazón de dar lo que por gracia hemos recibido. Dios ha sido bueno con nosotros, nos ha dado eh, gracia, favor, nos ha dado vida eterna y tenemos que tratar de dar eso que Dios nos ha dado a otras personas. Sometimes you're going to question yourself like, no, but why? No, why is it that I do this? But there's no why. God has simply chosen you and he, you're, the, you're the perfect person for what he wants to do. I, I encourage you, like, when you have those thoughts about feeling inadequate or or feeling like you can't do it, you just need to be like uh, juiced up with like enthusiasm or anything of the sort. 
about, I encourage you like just to think about that God sent you, God called you, just like he had a plan and a purpose and how he called Moses to lead his people to the promised land. The same correlation can happen uh, with, with being a minister and ministering people to take them to where God wants to take them. He sent you, he will back you up. It's, it's by grace, it's for his glory. We're just there up there as instruments. And, and, and I just want to encourage you, um, whenever you're feeling like that, whenever uh, those thoughts come into your mind, uh, just, just remember, remember who sent you and why you do it and for who you do it.